Wagwan. Me from Jamaica. Yo. Wagwan, behind me are the mountains of the Rastafarians. Right now, we're in uptown Kingston. We're away from the center of the city, and we're headed deep into the mountains to see what the real Rastafarian life is like. So, where we're at right now, very, very Jamaican. We're away from all the tourism, and we're headed deep to figure out what the ganja life, Bob Marley, one love, is all about. Let's head into Jamaica. This story begins in Kingston, Jamaica. Away from all the modernization, I always heard tales of the spirits of nature blowing fat clouds from the mountains. Tales of non-modified organic ganja and the students of Bob Marley. Wanting to learn from their wisdom, I found myself in the Blue Mountains of Jamaica. Thank you, Kota. Yeah, man. I'll respect, text you. Respect, man. Respect. Text me, man. Respect. Love, respect. Man. I'm cool, man. Be safe, man. Thank you. Shout me if anything, man. Thank you. I'll okay. shout you if I'm anything. I'm here, my brother. One love. <laughs> One love. How are you, my brother? Yeah, man. Good. One love. <laughs> no respect. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. The car smells like gun. All right, Joe. Yes. Alrighty, we're yeah. here in the mountains. Are these are the Blue Mountains? Yes. Right, we're out here in the Blue Mountains. You look in front of me, all different kinds of trees. Don't know how well the camera captures it, but it feels very tropical. Feels like we're in a tropical movie right now, being led by the Rastafarian. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's the kind of vibe I'm looking for. It's behind us, you got a bunch of coconuts. Fire, fire. Little restaurant by the river that they made. Quite a popular spot here in Jamaica, actually. Hi, doggies. Now we take our shoes off, yeah? Oh, wow. Wow, we are in Jamaica, man. Coconut steamer? Steamer, steam chalice, as you reach, in the palace. Steam chalice. Steam chalice. So that's a steam chalice. I'm not gonna be able to show us I'll show that on ArabUncut.com because YouTube bans my videos if I show anything with So if you guys want the uncensored stuff, if you wanna see how the Rastafarian life is, you wanna see me, that kind of stuff, then join up on the website, on Arab Uncut. But now, let's hop in the water. So part of the Rastafarian life I've learned is being one with nature. You don't wear your shoes, you walk barefoot everywhere. They look like a Jamaican. Part of Rasta philosophy is countering the effects of modernization like a vaccine. For example, cars, pollution, factories, not to go all vegan on you, but these things destroy the earth. Rastas believe that they have a duty to vaccinate the world by doing their part in appreciating nature. You've probably heard the saying, one love. It doesn't mean love all people. It means unity with the world. Everything, people, plants, animals, unity. What you'll notice that's very common in the Rastafarian life is that they burn incense. So they burn incense and they plant it in the ground. That way you're always kind of smelling that incense in the background. Rastafari. So we live every day, you know? Yeah. How you live every day? Yeah, man, leaf meals, leafy meals. You're about that ital yeah. life. Ital is vital. Explain to me what ital is for the viewers that don't know what it yeah, is. Yeah, well, it means, you know, ital is most organic way of living. You know, when you eat the fruits that are ripe on the tree, naturally, you don't necessarily have to cook ital. Ital is basically any combination of fruits or vegetable, whether it be a salad or a cooked meal or a raw vegan meal. Okay. Oh yeah, me a Jamaican, me a Yadi. 
Oh wow. We have some cabbage. Oh the Ital life. And we have some plantain festival. Oh my gosh, I'm excited for this. Festival plantain, what's this? This is green plantain. Green plantain. Yeah. Green, green plantain, one. what's that? This is polenta. Polenta? Yeah. Aki and sawfish. Aki and sawfish? And this is cabbage, yeah. Cabbage. Oh wow. I need to uh I need to definitely take a hit. Feel one with nature. Steam team! So it's the coconut steamer. Yeah. Basically we got um, water half the size of the coconut inside and we have the herb inside the kochi, which is the oven. Then we have the fire on top. And that's coconut charcoal? Coconut charcoal. So it's all elements activated. Earth, air, fire, water combined. Okay, and then the coconut, does making it a coconut chalice, does that change the flavor? Well, coconuts are naturally sweet. So ah, okay. It has nice essence, you know? Nice. Yeah. In the steam, you don't see any smoke because nothing is burning. It's basically the herb being evaporated inside and um, slow combustion. Okay. So you don't really get a puff smoke or anything like that. It's more natural vapor, you know? Most natural vapor you can ever find. You don't have to plug it in. Right. You don't need a battery for right. recharge. You're using a coconut, you know? water, more coconut, and he's using plants from the ground. Well, this right here behind me, it's the most natural way to ganja. You're in Jamaica, ganja, Bob Mali, all day, every day, one love. So you do this all day, every day? All day, most days. All day, most days. <laughs> so there are times where you're not high? Well, what do you define high as? Okay. Yeah, you can go on a mountain top and high. You can climb a tree to be high. You know, there's many definitions of high. <laughs> you know, how high is the high? <laughs> That's right. why you can't speak to a Rasta. They they always hit you with what you define this as, and then they hit you with some good knowledge that you know you can't even respond to. All right, we're steam chalice now. Just so beautiful. We're deep in the forest, surrounded by nature. My legs are covered in water. I'm touching the ground, I'm touching the rocks. There's a God made waterfall in front of me. You know, when you disconnect from all the material things that we're used to growing up with. And you come and you actually experience nice, beautiful water, not ruined by, you know, the modernization of society. I'm on a different path this year. Learning to enjoy nature and the things that God gave us. Doesn't that just make more sense? I think that totally makes sense to just be one with the earth. You know, I'm in here barefoot. Most people that come here, they're wearing shoes. The Rasta life, like this is how it's meant to be, one with the earth. I'm not wearing shoes, he's on a waterfall right now. A plant that was made on this earth naturally out of a coconut and bamboo. Seeing him up there, I was starting to feel the vibrations. I'm just playing, I just wanted a cool picture. But as I climbed up and took his place, I actually did become one with nature. I kind of forgot about everything going on and disconnected. I was at peace. So, we're climbing to a waterfall barefoot. After India, I told myself I wouldn't feel my health. But like, this is nature. You know, this is not India level nature. This is real nature, so I might not have the feet for it. But we're gonna try here. We're walking through the Jamaican mountains barefoot. It's quite difficult. We're doing it. We're doing it, boys. We're getting out of our comfort zone, talking shit about shoes, even though I so badly wanna wear them right now. 
but like I don't at the same time. It feels great, you know. Come on, what is this, guys? You're wearing shoes. You from foreign? No, you from foreign. You know about that Rasta life. One love. Yeah, yeah. This is the this is the medicine that that cleans your blood, right? Well, it, it purge you and it build you at the same time. It purge you and it what? Build you. Build you. Build up your what? What don't kill you? Build you. Ah. All right. All uh, right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. You got this guy casually walking barefoot. He's right. What doesn't kill you, builds you. So you just gotta ride the line of death, boys. <laughs> you ride the line of death, and you become a man. Or you die. You know, <laughs> pick which one you want. Look, he's just casually walking, bro. Step by step. Calm down, stop stressing. Just step by step. All right, let's step into the water. Yeah. Why, to refresh them? Yeah. Does that actually heal you? Yeah, man, the cold, the coldness. Oh, yeah. yeah. Coolness way, make it all right, you know? Yeah. Look at that. Now we're healing. We're taking a break to heal our feet. Oh, brother. That's a big one. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off and film a little more later. I'm going to climb now. I barely hike even with shoes. And this guy got me hiking an hour into the mountains barefoot. What doesn't kill you, build you. All right, we made it a little deeper. We got the esteemed chalice. So it's quite an enjoyable time here being one with the earth. We're in Jamaica, so there's no fear of lions or hyenas or whatever in the jungle. If you notice, he brought the steam chalice with him all the way up that massive hike. Gotta give him props for that dedication. That's the ganja life, one love. Technology. And you were about to tell me freeing yourself from nature is technology freedom? Yeah. Give thanks to life, man. You know, technology is technology, man. People need it to advance themselves and use it in the rightful way. You know? And um, don't be a slave to anything. Okay. You know? Right. Basically, exercise more. You know, exercise go more. out into nature more. Mm. Don't just live um, with us behind the screen. At the screen time, sometimes um, people drop asleep in front of the screen. You know, right. And I watch them, you know. They, what, they started out there watching the screen, and the screen turned out watching them. So that is what technology. Oh, um, that was good. All right. That was a good one. All right. Yo, use that one. He hit us with a good line. When you listen to Rastafari and speak, man, they do. They drop a lot of good one liners that make you rethink the way you think. They cook. They cook. That's what we call it in the in the West. You're cooking. All right. We always cooking, man. We always cooking. So, <laughs> oh so yeah. Cooking. Organic gum. Yeah, growing in the mountain. It smells like uh. Smells very sweet. Yeah, man. Uh, fruits, you know. Oh, you, you grow with fruits? Yeah. So you do genetically modify it? No. Yeah, you soak the fruits in water. You know, you soak like the orange peel and the skin and the mango in you know, some water and you water the plant with that. Really? Yeah. Oh, so that's some real natural shit. Real natural. Natural. Natural, natural medicine. I have no idea what I'm drinking. This is very stupid of me. No, man, this are the bitters, man. This are the thing that clean up all of the smoke, congestion, all of the gum, you know, the excess. Bro, if you heal me from India, yeah. I'll buy bottles from you. All right. Guys, it's been six months. I still have a sinus infection from India. I've tried everything to clean it out. If you have any idea what I gotta do, let me know in the comments. So, check this. They give you these roots natural roots so it's a mix of natural roots and the sales pitch is stiff wood no conscience yeah man 
I need one of those things for my hair. Then I can become a Rastafarian. What are they called? Just a net? Or do they call them something? Oh, like a tam. A tam? A tam? Like how he has a, a tam on That's a tam? That's a tam, yeah. Do I have to earn the right to wear a tam? I mean, in, in Bubble, you earn the right to wear a turban. But, and, and, you know, carry in a certain principle and a certain living about you and, you know, principles within your heart and your activities within your heart. That's what makes you Rasta. You okay, know, the righteousness right. that you carry with you. Okay. Rasta. We're learning. We're out here learning about the Rastafari in life. It's interesting for sure. It's got me hooked. We're getting the lesson. So you have steam veg with this bok choy, onions, peppers, chayote, chocho in there, and then you also have okra with a fried eggplant. Nice. Enjoy some ital food. Nice. Ital is vital. Feels like you're eating the earth. Whatever you imagine this tastes like, it tastes better than what you're imagining. It's very healthy. You feel it cleaning up your system. While it might not taste as good as a Five Guys burger, you know what I'm saying? That was delicious. Banana as a dessert. Powerful. Jamaican roots. Natural Viagra. Because the sugar in there is gonna fizz up like that. It's so great. Shanti! Shanty Man Restaurant. Hi, Tal. What, go on. No free spec. Check that out. The Jamaican sun is so hot. Sugar cane? It's pineapple. Pineapple. Water ginger, pineapple, star fruit. Sipping on pineapple ginger juice. Oh wow. Oh wow. This is the best pineapple juice I've had in my life. Check this, Ital food. Ital is vital. So I was going to put the food vlog away because I thought we were done, but at the bottom, I caught a surprise. What is this called? That is a whole wheat flour dumpling, boiled dumpling. A whole wheat flour boiled dumpling. What's in it? Whole wheat flour and some mm. spices and seasonings. It's a nice whole wheat piece of bread. Bob Marley Beach. This is also in the Bob Marley movie. Because they recreated the scene from 1976. And there I was on Bob Marley's beach surrounded by organic green plant grown right on the sea. Beautiful sky and mountains around me. And nice soothing ocean water. Completely surrounded by nature. But there was still one thing missing. One love means we're one with nature. As I laid my seed into the soil, I couldn't help but wonder, why was I, 
Blessed with such a massive co 